Welcome to the video lecture on the periodicity of a discrete time sinusoidal signal. In this video, we'll try to test whether a given discrete time sinusoidal signal is periodic or not. If periodic, what is the fundamental period? So to test that, we'll consider a discrete time sinusoidal signal. We call it as x of n, which is equal to cos omega n. And we know that omega is 2 pi f. So I'll replace that. So I'll write cos 2 pi f into n. And we already know that the given signal is periodic if it satisfies this condition. The condition is x of n plus capital N is equal to the original signal x of n itself. If this condition is satisfied, we can say that the given signal is always periodic. So now what I what, I, what I'll do is, I'll consider x of n plus capital N, which is equal to cos into bracket 2 pi f n plus capital N. So I'm considering x of n plus capital N. So now I'll take 2 pi f inside. So I'll get cos into bracket 2 pi f into small n plus 2 pi f into capital N. So if this signal is equal to the original signal cos omega n or else cos 2 pi f into small n, if this condition is satisfied, the given signal is said to be periodic in nature. So this equation is satisfied if and only if 2 pi f n is an integer multiple of 2 pi. That is, 2 pi f into n is equal to m into 2 pi. So where m is an integer multiple, so sorry, where m is an integer. So I said the given equation is satisfied if and only if 2 pi f capital N is an integer multiple of 2 pi. So now what I do is, I'll replace 2 pi f with omega again. So I'll try to write the expression for omega. Omega is equal to 2 pi into, into m divided by capital N. So this will be condition for a discrete time sinusoidal signal to be periodic. So the condition is omega its angular frequency must be a rational multiple of 2 pi. So this is the condition. So I'll repeat it again. Its angular frequency omega must be a rational multiple of 2 pi. Whereas a rational number is ratio of integers. And I'll write the same thing. Where m is an integer and capital N is also an integer. The ratio of integers is known as a rational number and we also know that capital N is the fundamental period so in in the numericals we'll try to express its angular frequency omega in terms of a rational multiple of 2 pi if we can express it the given signal is periodic and capital N will be the fundamental period if we cannot express it the signal is not periodic or it is a periodic 